Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the channel. So recently, these past couple of months, I've been collaborating with a bunch of people off of a Discord server for Pogo. He is a Plunder Phonics extraordinaire and does amazing remixes of movies and TV shows and the like. He is awesome. The people in that server are awesome. So in those collaborations, we've been getting together for sample sessions and submitting samples into each other while one person hosts the project in a DAW and makes a track from everything that people submit to them. So the thought hit me, well, all these people are using Ableton, they're using FL Studio, they're using Logic, but what about VCV? So I was really the only modular guy in the group, so I took it upon myself to do one of the collaborations of these songs in VCV Rack. It's funny that I mentioned this now though, because the song has been released on SoundCloud for a while now and I didn't say anything, so uh... Good job, Ethan. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how I made the soundscape using all of my friend's samples in VCV. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so here we are in VCV, the simplest cookbook to get you a very quick soundscape in VCV with only samples is this. Obviously, you need the samplers. You need a clock device, some random gate chances and probabilities, modulation whether it could be planned or uh unplanned you know irregular or regular modulation and the biggest thing obviously to send anything to space reverb so basically the heart of everything which basically carries the sounds of all my friends are in these four quad simplers right here in this part of the patch Basically, the quad sampler is a sample machine. You can put up to four samples in it on VCV. And the samples that I've <laughs> that I got, I put in some myself. There's a kalimba, there is a uh, there's a string swell from my friend Efrio, there's a beautiful D flat major 7 chord from my friend Sleepy Boy, awesome bells from my friend Eclixi. My friend Plonk Apple sent me a uh, a random chick screaming what the expletive is going on <laughs> and it's quite funny how all these samples came together well anyways the cool thing about this simpler or this quad simpler is that not only can i uh clock everything individually within the four samples i can also change their direction the speed of them their runtime all kinds of stuff like that so again heart of the patch is right here with all these samples because this was the whole point of the collaboration just sampling a bunch of things uh, then you need your clock, uh, so I used clocked over here as my main clock. What's cool about it is that you have a pulse, but then you can, with these three dials, you can have three separate clock pulses that are either multiplying or dividing the BPM that you set it to, which is great. Um, and then all these outputs to give even more randomness and chance, uh, these Bernoulli gates right here, it's basically a module that is uh, Mutable Instruments branches. Uh, basically what it does is that it takes a trigger signal and it flips a coin toss uh, and whatever whatever side wins the coin toss outputs to out A or out B. So the biggest struggle of this patch was trying to figure out where um, some samples, are they a constant rhythmic thing? Are they something that should only happen per chance? I had to kind of structure it to where some stuff, I told everyone, we're in the key of D flat, there's no tempo, just give me something. So there are some special effects that come in. There are some things that are regular. There are some things that loop. Uh, my friend, my specifically my friend Eclixi samples, they're off time of everything else of the clock. I just let them run by themselves. And that little bit of just this unsynchronized sample was enough to kind of set everything uh, off and add more to the ambience of the soundscape. And it's great. The next thing, the last thing to make this a true ambient soundscape, you need to give everything some movement. It can't be super static, especially when you're dealing with samples. A lot of them are in mono. Some of my friends sent me them in stereo. So um, you have to play with the stereo field. So to do that, I have a couple LFOs here from Bog Audio, this small one right here, this other small one too. And this Caudal Mechanical Chaos Source, I love this thing. Um, these provide all the modulation to different stuff within the mixer. So in this huge mixer here, um, as you can see, I like how it kind of shows where the panning is for everything that you set it. I set some things to pan in one part of the ear and one not. 
But then there are some that are kind of fluctuating and all most of the fluctuation is done by caudal. And then I use these other standard LFOs that are going at back and forth at a constant pace to um, modulate the volume of some of the samples. And you'll see that too. This was enough to make everything move within the patch and it was it was quite fun to orchestrate everything and lastly obviously you need some reverb if you want to send things to space so i decided to use the vcv host and just use the little plate reverb from sound toys um, i could have used plateau but my computer isn't the best as far as processing power is concerned so um, i decided to go with this plugin instead uh, just to save, you know, keep my computer from crying. I've already made it cry several times. We don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, guys, so with all that said, I'm just going to let you listen to the patch and let you listen to how it came out. Thank you guys so much for listening to my explanation. Here is the patch.
Well, guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed that song seven patch. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Again, thank you so much to all the people in that collaboration. Speaking of collaboration, if you really like Song 7, or if you're not into the ambient soundscape, my other friends did tracks Song 5 and Song 6. Efrio did Song 5, Plonk Apple did Song 6, as far as like hosting it within their DAWs. And those tracks are more vibey, they have more beats and jams, they're not all up in space. We had so much fun doing all of those projects. It was amazing, it turned out great, and I was glad to be a part of it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for sticking around on this video. I hope you'd enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more content. I'll catch y'all for the next one. Peace.